Hello everyone, I'm here again with another video on Android application hacking in which we are going to look at an awesome reverse engineering tool by name AndroGuard. This is a Python tool used to reverse engineer Android applications and the cool stuff is it supports Frida for dynamic analysis. Dynamic analysis meaning analyzing an application as it runs. This tool is of great help when it comes to value of scattered applications and in this case we are going to look at three interesting modules. Uh, analyze, call graph, and decompile, but please feel free to interact with the rest. Analyze spawns an IPython shell to help in some kind of analysis. CG creates a call graph in a graphical format, and decompile, as by its name, decompiles an APK and creates control flow graphs. We learn these terms later on, but first let's make some installation. Go to your browser and search for Android installation. Visit the official Android documentation page, then follow the installation procedure. If you have difficulties, please comment in the comment section below for assistance. For me, I'm using Parrot OS. If you have a different one, please follow the installation guidelines on official Android documentation. Make sure to use Python 3, then run sudo apt install Android for installation. This will install all the dependencies for this tool. To confirm the installation was successful, issue command Android uh, space dash dash help. Usage options will be displayed. Now let's see how we can utilize this tool to advantage. Before we talk about analyze, let's learn about call graphs and control flow graphs. Call graph is a graphical representation of call relationships between methods of a computer program. Consider the diagram on the right. The arrows show the call flows between different methods. Main method uh, calls class person and this class has four methods. The eat bananas method in person class can uh, call no bananas method and can also call it method in banana class. Realize that if there are many methods with many conditions to follow, it's going to be very difficult to trace the method codes. And this is where call graphs comes into play. Uh, this presentation is applied in tracing the root detection, SSL pinning, encryption decryption uh, method calls, as well as tracing of scattered functions. As we'll see in the coming videos, especially when dealing with small code modification. On the other hand, control flow graphs is a representation of all paths that might be traversed through a program uh, during its execution using a graph notation. This normally focuses on a single function, and the function may contain countless conditions, and checking each one of them to know the next step can be very difficult. Instead, if we know our final destiny, then we can trace back up the root method, and in doing so, we'll easily understand the root uh, traverse to the final solution. Okay. For analyze and decompile modules, it will be best uh, understood uh, by directly interacting with uh, Android. So let's use OVA app to do some analysis. If you are new to this channel, OVA is an intentionally vulnerable Android application developed by OVA Secured to help people like you and me to learn Android hacking. Check link on the description below uh, to download this application. Let's issue command Android analyze OVA.apk and we are offered three options. We have, uh, we have A which is a bytecode APK object, D which is Dalvik VM format and DX for analysis. Let's use A. You can type a dot and hit the tab button multiple times and a whole bunch of method variables will be availed to help you check what you want. For example, manifest XML file and so forth. In the decks, we also have interesting methods such as get classes, methods, strings, internal classes, etc. The analyze module is simply for mass analysis for an application. Next, let's see what CG module has for us. We need to install a presentation tool known as Giphy to visualize our graphic. To do this, just run command sudo snap install Giphy. Make sure you have the correct Java version installed for this to work. Let's now issue command android cg o which is uh, output file and then file name and with the extension gml and then the apk that you are interested in uh, in this case over to the apk once done we can open giphy to view our gml file it takes time but finally we have the graph a few tweaks to only have display from our apk we can change layouts and then go to data laboratory tab we need to filter data by label field and input our package name, in this case, over.oversecured. We select all of this by Ctrl A, then right click and move to new workspace. We close the earlier workspace and now uh, let's go to overview and as you can see, this is way much better than 
uh, uh, than it was initially. You can also use show edge button to display reference calls and uh, also one trick if you want to move and position the graph well hold right mouse button and move to position the graph as you may wish we can also search for an important endpoint and mark it with a different color go to data laboratory filter by label and type whatever unique endpoint you're interested in select and right click on the node and choose edit node then on the left you can edit the color to your desired one just to differentiate uh, from the rest as you can see, this takes effect in overview tab. And to make the grouping more presentable, uh, you may uh, you need to use Freshman layout. And uh, as you can see, it looks perfect. Now let's see how we can create a flow graph. We'll use the decompile module to create a flow graph. And first we need to install a tool called Graphviz by issuing sudo apt install Graphviz. Also need to install PyDot and please use pip3 install. Then follow Android decompile command format as shown to create a flow graph image file. Dash dash limit will help us in limiting only the class we're interested in. And once complete, we can check the PNG images. In this case, let's use one of the applications from Mobisec. Visit charles.riyama.io and check on the challenges. You'll need to register first and pick and download your post APK under reversing. We may not know what we are interested in, so first we have to decompile the APK using JADX GUI, then check the code. The check flag class is in FC folder, so that's where we'll need to go. To view these PNG images, we'll need to use GIMP, cause uh, they are really big. This means we need to install GIMP if we haven't already. To install GIMP, we'll use aptitude. So we'll have to install aptitude first by sudo apt get install aptitude. Then finally sudo aptitude install game for installation. Let's open our terminal in the FC folder and open check flag a PNG file using game. Once open, you can see that it has created a flow graph image. This presentation will be very paramount when you start reverse engineering Android applications and modifying code in Simali. Feel free to uh, play around with this tool and when we learn Simali, you'll understand why it is so important in your arsenal as an Android hacker. For this video, that is enough for now. Please subscribe, like and comment uh, to support this channel. Thank you and see you next.